Good morning and welcome back to the Now Morning welcome Show. It is a few minutes before 8 o'clock and this morning we have with us an icon in the in the music industry, an icon in, as far as I concern, an icon in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning we welcome Dr. David Michael Rudder joining us via Zoom. Good morning to you, Dr. Rudder. Good morning. Good morning, Trinidad Tobago. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. All right. So you have a brand new song out. Uh, it's called Is What? A Tribute to Brother Resistance. Tell me, tell me why you decided to do this one. Well, I just, I usually, most of the people I admire, I, I try to, when they pass away, I write, I write a song about them. I think I've written more songs about uh, people who have passed through this life than anybody else on the planet. That, I was just actually so, noting that this morning, you know. Yeah, you know. So, um, I had this piece of music from the Bishop Brothers for, for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, th I thought it was kind of like soundtrack music, so like a movie or a play or something, you know? Yeah. And then when, when, when Resistance passed, I, I, I said, well, I was playing it at, at that same time, you know? And I said, that's the vibe. Mm. That's what this song was waiting on all the time. You know? It's one of those moments in time when it, it hits you right and you, it, it, the song is done in five minutes. Yeah. You know that, 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 that that's what it was, it was supposed to be. When the song writes itself, basically. Yeah. 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 Tell, tell me about a little bit more about the importance of, of doing tributes to people. Like you said, it's a big part of, of you know, your songwriting. You have lots of tributes. I remember The Hammer being one of the ones that everybody you know, knew it was a tribute song, but it's still a, a frenzy and it still created that, that life force. Tell me about the importance to you of doing tributes to people. Well, I, I, one thing I've learned in this, in this world um, is that you're just a memory after a while. Mm. After a short while, people just move on, you know? And, um, if you have something to record the life and times of someone, so people can always go back and revisit, then, you know, I think that puts a little more importance and, and, and power to the, to the life that that person has, has, has contributed to society, you know, especially if someone has done something, some, some great things for society. Yeah. And um, it would still be forgotten, you know? Yeah. And, and in a moment or here or there, someone might kind of think about them or something, you know, but... Um, the songs are always there. Definitely. They remind us. They, they, they are basically. That's the best way to do it. Yeah, music. they immortalized in song. Yeah. Yeah. So tell even me more, something. Even more than, than, than write, um, writing a book. Yeah, it's true. Works. It's true. Yeah. Tell me something, though. Like one of your songs, Who Say, would, would have been covering the events of the 1990 coup. Tell me yeah. about, about the feeling that you got uh, last week or two weeks ago when you heard of Abu Bakr's passing. Well, I just that's a, that's a perfect example of what we're talking about here because, like, um, that is passing reminded us about, about what we pass through, what we are dealing with today. I think a lot of a lot of what, what, what we are as a society today tri was triggered by that insurrection, you know. And um, how 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 are we going to and ask the question? How are we going to deal with it? Mm -hmm. What are we going to learn from it? How, how are we going to be stronger by it? And, and these are the things that we tend to sort of run away from entry and die, you know? So the songs are also there to say, don't forget, you still have to deal with yourself, you know? This is the part, this is the, part that, this is the tough part, mm -hmm. you know? So I remember when it happened, a lady came to me and, and told me that I should write a song to help the children to forget that it ever happened. I said, but they can't forget what happened. Because, you know? Because we are forever changed it, by it. You, you, you don't make the mistake again, Yeah. you know? So. Yeah. So the brand new song is what? A tribute to Brother Resistance. Is you, you call a bunch of names inside that song. Is that intentional where you, you spoke of, of rap to artists? Yeah, that uh, yeah that, was, that was intentional. You know, that, that, that was like a no brainer after 20 seconds verse. You know, it's like call the kindred spirits, the clan on the home front. You know, Papa Lance in the, the lane. You know, taking the full brunt and. Pull your tree canal, <laughs> chant well, you know. So I try to squeeze as much as I can inside it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of course, you know, resistance would have would have had a strong influence on, on all these people and worked with all these people over the Th years. That's as right. Well. That, you see, so, so once you know the history of th things, you can I can just refer to it. You know, yeah. that's that's one of the great things about learning history. You know, you know, and I'm talking about just everyday life. You know. Yeah. Um, the fact that the song I can write you song in five minutes because I have all this information already inside. Because I'm aware of what's going on in society, mm -hmm. so it's just to, to, to put it out there, you know, and it comes out like a, a rush. 
And then it can become a literary study as well, which is the best part for yeah. me, you know, our Calypso's yeah. telling stories. Tell me about, the, yeah. about working with the younger generation of producers and musicians, Gideon Bishop and Kyle Peters and the crew. Well, I'm, I'm happy to, 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 first thing is that they're using live instruments, you know, um, and I think a lot of people are feeling that feel live, live vibe now, you know, in society. Yeah. We're kind of tired of the, the canned um, Timmy song, you know, <laughs> and um, they have been doing some really progressive work, and uh, just wanted well, to keep it up, you know, um, because um, it, won't be, it won't be what I am doing, but it'll be some a great marriage of um, what you what you feel as a, as as your for your generation, mm -hmm. and um, it's it's good that they, they could actually merge with my generation and create some some good music, you know. Nice. And I think that the amount of young people are with, who who into music, I think we have a good future. Definitely, and I, I really appreciate having the horn lines back in the music. I would say that for sure. Yes, definitely. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning, Dr. Ruddle, and I want to thank you for this track, Is What. You can go check it yeah. out. It's on all streaming platforms. Uh, David Rudder Is What. Any final words before you leave, Dr. Rudder? Congratulations on your... On your, on your um, Why, thank you, Why, thank you, good sir. Congrats. <laughs> congrats. <laughs> thank you very much. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of your day, sir. All right, you too. Take care. Well, there you have it, Dr. David Michael Rudder joining us this morning. Brand new track out called Is What. You want to go check it out. It's available on all streaming platforms. It's available everywhere there is music to be played. And it sounds really good. My one complaint, and I told them this over the weekend, is that I find it too short. We needed the song to be at least another two or three minutes long so we could, uh, you know, have it playing forever. But that's a whole other story. We go. I had to train them up to do the remix. So I think that's about, about the time that we have this morning. Natalie. Yes. You're good? I, I don't have a oh. Nicole. Nicole, you. thank you so much for joining us it this morning. It was fun. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> Completely. Were you nervous? Very. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to TV. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think you did well. This is your first time on TV? Like Not as a host? Definitely. Yeah, it's a that different that experience as compared to being, being an interview. Interview um, interviewee, yeah, mm -hmm. being a host. But it, it was fun. I really did enjoy it. I remember first thing Natalie told me, she said, just enjoy it. Yeah. So it doesn't that's feel true. like work. It, it's exactly, <laughs> exactly. I think that's, that's the, that's the trick. Too. Well, yeah, our yeah. trick is to do that. We try to have as much fun as well as play music and sing during the break. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure we have some fun here. And I hope that you have some fun today. If you're going out to uh, you know, any of the establishments where you're allowed to go and drink alcohol today, <laughs> please be safe. Remember to sanitize still. Remember to wear your mask when you're not actually drinking or eating things. And just remember to just make good choices as far as, you know, all of these things are concerned. Um, we're not ready for that yet, girl. We still have a little bit of time this morning. Oh, you don't have no way. She have no mic. We can't hear nothing that she's saying. Look trouble in the place. <laughs> well, Nicole, it's me and you, you know. She, we kind of silent, Natalie. Imagine that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, tell me what you learned this morning. Did you learn anything this morning? I learned about recycling and the recyclathon. I learned about the barbell cancer diabetes foundation mm -hmm. and i just learned that you know this is actually a fun job i might <laughs> try to get into it <laughs> eventually <laughs> you know a lot of people think that this job is is easy no because they think you know you just yeah just go on tv and just ask and just questions talk, right? yeah just talk and ask no, questions no no you have to do research lots and lots I of research that, yeah. and imagine having to do that every, every day, day for the wide variety of topics that we cover here in the now morning show you have to talk loud so that they can hear your girl well sometimes <laughs> easy for them uh -huh. And you don't know what the people are going to ask, you have to like prepare. <laughs> That's Trini accent. Oh no. Is that your Trini accent? I, I, I'm a little shocked. I am hurt, I'm offended. <laughs> you all don't recognize how you are sound this summer. Oh no. Not it. We have and this is why we take your microphone though. away. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage you to make a difference today now because together we aspire and together we achieve. Uh, you know what I want to do? <laughs> <laughs> I want to play a piece of the David Rudder song before we go. We'll take us to the top of the, with the Rudder song. Is what is the name of it? Is what?
first thing they blessed me with was a gift of persistence. For I walked the hard, hard road, the road of resistance. All I had was a voice and a little bell in the middle of a bar. Come to get a bell, so ring the bell. Ring it all over. Ring the bell. 